going to be discuss dear students in last class we had discuss about the topic proportional of chapter ratio proportional and unitary method today i am going to start new topic unitary method of this chapter let us move to other topic firstly Let's quickly recap what we have will done in previous class. Dear students, in previous class, some of the important topic ratio and proportional. Dear students, what is ratio? Comparing two quantity by division is known as ratio. And uh, such as three is to four. That means three is to four. And proportional comparing two quantity of ratio is known as proportional. Such that three is to four. And That means product of means is equal to product of extreme. So these are known as proportional. And now new topic is unitary method. Dear students, the method of first finding the value of one article by division and then. Finding the value of more articles by multiplying is called unitary method. Finding one article by division and finding more articles by multiplying is known as unitary method. Dear students, I am going to start worksheet 3 of question number 1. Your first question. Sahil buys 8 books for rupees 72. So, what is the cost of 45 books? So, dear students, cost of 8 books equal to rupees 72. So, cost of 1 book. First, finding the value of one article by division. So, rupees 72 divided by 8, that means rupees 9. 72, 8, 9, that's 72. And, what is the cost of the 45 books? So, cost of 45 books equal to rupees 9 into 45. Uh, finding more articles by multiplying, you get 9 5 the 45, 9 4 the 36 of 4, 4, 40. So, cost of 45 books in Cost of 45 books is rupees 405. This is your answer. Dear friends, next question is Dear friends, question number 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will save it as question 1. And I am going to start question number 6. Your sixth question is a worker earn rupees eighteen thousand in fifteen month. A how much will he will the earn in seven month? Dear friends, since a worker earn in fifteen month. Equal 
equal to rupees 80,000. So, a worker earned in one month, one month is equal to rupees 18,000 divided by 50. You get Fifteen one are fifteen three fifteen two are thirty twelve hundred and a worker so a worker on in seven months equal to rupees. Seven into rupees one thousand two hundred equal to eight thousand four hundred. And this is solution of A and B. In how many months will he earn is rupees thirty six hundred? This sense. A worker earned rupees eighteen thousand in fifteen months. So he earned rupees one. by 80,000. So, therefore, he earned rupees 3600 equal to 15 by 3600 into 18,000. 2020 cancel and 36 as the 180 so 15 into 8 120 so he earned sorry he earned 3600 is solution by 18,000 into 3,600. 2 zero so 2 zero cancel and 36 5 the and 5 3 the. That means 3 months. So therefore the worker the worker earned rupees 3600 in 3 months and next question is yes and last question of what's it 3 is that is 8 a factory produce 57,900 screws in the month of April. The factory produce same number of screws every day. So if how many screws did the factory produce in 8 days? In sense, a factory produce Screw. Screw in thirty days equal to fifty seven thousand nine hundred. Dear sense, month of April number of days in April equal to thirty. So, the 
party produce a screw in 30 days this is 7900 so if, so number of 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 screw produce in one day one day equal to 57900 uh, by 30 that is one zero so one zero cancel uh, one thousand nine hundred thirty. So number of a screw produced in eight days equal to one thousand nine thirty into eight. Equal to eight zero zero eight three are twenty four eight nine are seventy two or two seventy four eight seven are eight or seven fifty that is fifteen thousand four hundred forty a screw produced in eight days and B your solution of A and solution of B how many days did the factory produce thirty four thousand seven forty Yes, since a factory produce produce a screw. A factory produce which is seven thousand nine hundred. A factory produce which is seven thousand nine hundred screw in thirty days. So a factory produced one screw, one screw in and uh, in not in in thirty by. Seven thousand nine hundred. So, number of a screw, number of days produce a screw in Number of days produced thirty four thousand seven forty thirty four thousand seven forty screw equal to thirty by fifty seven thousand nine hundred into thirty four thousand seven hundred forty one zero so one zero cancel one zero so one zero cancel. 